I can see everything. No, no, not just see. I can feel everything. After a small break, we finally return to Gilwyn, as promised. After new energy courses through his body and the magic at his fingertips, the incessant whispering of Conflux Mountains seems to have finally gone silent, and in its place, whatever that being or presence may be, now finds itself effortlessly coursing itself through Gilwyn and his mind. He is one with whatever creature or spirit or energy or whatever creates the magic in this world is. And now the first watcher offers him a choice. He can teach us our very first spell, a fire sigil or how to reveal souls. And I don't know what each of these does and that's how I'd like it. I do know that obviously fire sigil would likely be good for fire magics, but revealing souls sounds interesting and perhaps good for the lore of the world. But for now, for his own defense, Gilwyn asks for the fire sigil. Welcome back to Outward, everybody, and I am excited to keep playing. I took a small break as I wanted to after the end of the first season because I wasn't sure how well people enjoyed the first season, more or less. I wanted to make sure that uh, that people were enjoying the game. And so we will tackle a season two. I have a personal goal in mind. And when we when we arrive at that personal goal, that's when that second season will wrap up and we'll see just how much people want to see more of it. But for now, let's just accept the gift of the Watchers. We are finally going to be magicians after long, long treks trials, and of course, tribulations. Teach me how to cast fire. <clears throat> okay, I want to train with you. Uh, if you want a simple spell, I can teach you the flamethrower spell for the price of 50 silvers. You only need to hold a lantern or a torch and you'll be ready to use it. Well, hang on, let's let's take a look for, for a second. Um, it's, it's been a while, so uh, there's quite a lot that I need to manage here. Uh, but I don't really know exactly uh, what I'm supposed to be doing when it comes to magic. Um, the game doesn't really explain it in any way, which is obvious. So let's take a drink of some water because we're thirsty. And uh, our bag is a little overweight, so let's probably start eating a little bit of food real quick and just kind of free up some space. Uh, we have five pounds extra that we're just kind of hanging on to. So let's mess around with this a little bit. I mean, how much money do we actually have on us? Probably none. It does look like we actually aren't carrying anything monetarily, which is. Un Wait, is this? Did they change the inventory since last I played? It looks like they might have. Oh, I have 106 silver on me. Sure, teach me. Never underestimate the Humble Spark spell. It may seem small and weak, but when combined with other comp uh, spells or components, it can produce powerful effects. If you wish to learn the most complex of spells, seek out Rune Magic and Burge. Only by properly combining them will you unlock their power. They are spells that require experimentation, but are flexible once you understand them. Ah, that's something we want to be chasing. Here's your money. Rather than using spark to detonate the air, try pushing the air inside your lantern. It will unleash a torrent of flames on any who dare cross you. And I've learned flamethrower. All right. Um, I need to, I think, equip it on like a, the hot bar. So why don't we go here? A skill. So we've got flamethrower and we've got spark. 
Uh, and we've also got Fire Sigil, actually. Hmm. And we can't create any more. Let's free this slot. And just here, we'll go Fire Sigil. Here, we'll go Spark. And here, we'll put Flamethrower. And so we have two of these, whatever these are. Let's actually look at the skills real quick. It consumes a Firestone, create a magic circle on the ground. Certain skills have additional effects when cast within the circle. So it's like a buff uh, in a way. Here is Flamethrower, which we know we need to shoot fire from the torch. Um, so carrying a torch would be good. And then Spark, tiny fire explosion that deals negligible damage, but can be used in combination with other spells for greater effects. And we can actually light campfires with it. So our real big spell is this. So if we were to uh, use this, did that do anything? It actually did use mana. But if we equip, instead of this shield, we equip a torch. And then we do it. Did that do anything? Maybe I'm pressing the wrong one. There it is! Whoa! That's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's what it were. That's the kind of good stuff we're looking for. Well, now the question is, how do we carry ourselves, I guess? Um, you know, mana is going to be a big thing, so we're going to want the mana often. And carrying around a lot of armor and stuff is going to be a, a big kind of penalty. It's going to slow us down a lot. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how we want to do this. Also, how can we learn more spells? I want to buy something. And they all sell stuff now. Ah, this is fantastic. Maester Staff, Chakram. Chakram spells are necessary to use this offhand weapon. Book to cast runic spells. Scholar attire, mana cost, mana cost. Yeah, this is the kind of things we want to be looking toward. Alchemy Life Potion, Cold Stone, Astral Potion. Uh, let's see. Teaches how to craft a consumable Cold Stone. I wonder if there's like a Firestone Potion. Yep, there it is. Let's go ahead and buy that right now. And we'll take that. And then we will uh, just learn it immediately. Uh, Firestone Potions are going to be very, very necessary. And we can actually leave right into Charson Charsonay. So that's, let's see where, where this leads out. Gilwyn, feeling the power coursing through his veins, is excited to try some of the spells. I know I am. But I'm, I'm definitely concerned about money, so we're going to have to figure out some cash. Ah, right, it's winter time. But we're not far. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Can we use this boat? Oh. We'll have to walk our way back into Conflux every single time. Or there was something I missed and I should have looked at before. Uh, okay, let's turn off our lantern here. I'd like to try our magic, but I think what we're gonna have to do first, and the very first thing I want Gilwin to do is just head home. Um, we're gonna have to completely change our inventory out, and uh, we're gonna wanna go out and, and adventure. We need money more than anything else, because we're gonna wanna equip ourselves uh, with things that are gonna help our magic casting more than anything else. And, uh, Gilwyn has made the decision that that's the route he's going to take. That magic and the arcane arts and this mystical power that seems to sit at the center of our very planet, that is what he wants to harness, and that's how he's going to push forward and become the hero that this world, at least he feels, needs, whether true or not. So let's move on. And there's this big-ass city here, too, but I want to head home first more than anything. If we go to Burge, uh, oh, I hear fighting. I definitely heard something fighting. Let's move up top of the hill real quick. Yep, there it is. They're chasing somebody. That's a, how do I roll? That's block. It's, it's, just give me a minute. It's been, it's been a minute. Oh, that's my big swing. That's terrible. All right, well, we're going to avoid them for now. And I'm just going to try and get out of here. If we can just look at a map. Ugh, Mike. 
There it is. So we want to go to Burge. Burge is where we can find magics. I just don't know where Burge is. I don't think it's here in, in uh, Chersonese in any way. So for now, we're going to go back to Sierzo. We're going to unload everything that we've gathered so far. We're going to redo our inventory basically entirely. Looter armor, old lantern, and salt. I'm going to take all of that, actually, and I'm going to break it down. Uh, and then once we're we're all kind of organized, we'll look at uh, what we can do. We can even break down an old... I want to take the old lantern and break it down, for sure. Oh, yeah, we got that old rusted sword when we took out the monster on top of everything, too. And we got a power coil. Oh, I forgot about that. We should absolutely use the power coil in the... Um, the bandit camp that we ended up clearing out as our first act of uh, heroism for our city. Alright, here we go. We got a couple of... well, not just a couple. We actually have a lot of... wargs and such... moving about. Which I don't like. Um, let's, let's eat something real quick. Get some Gadberry Tartine in us. That should help us with cold resistance. Nice quick couple of meals. We'll draw our weapon and see if they'll let us go by relatively peacefully. I'm hoping Conflux works out and getting back into Conflux is actually not that hard. But it does look like if I want to continue pushing my training of Conflux and buying whatever it is they have, that uh, making my way into Conflux is going to be a journey one way or another every time. Ugh, there's another group there. I'm trying to figure out where I am on the map, too. Let's swing up here for a moment. We'll see if we can get back. Sometimes just placing yourself on the map and just trying to figure out where you are is a challenge in and of itself. I don't think I've been up here. Ah, oh, there's a stone up here. Maybe iron? Yeah, why not? Whoa. We're exhausted, but what is this? We might want to swing inside. Wow. What is this? I mean, it's a, clearly a troglodyte cave, but... Where does it leave? Inf enter Trog Infiltration. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I not holding on my shield? There's the shield. I don't know why he wasn't doing it before. There we go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. There we go. Body temperature's back to normal. A knight, iron scraps, and common mushroom. And a mace pole. Okay. Lesson learned. I'm out. We can't deal with that. Not right now. Perhaps a place we want to go exploring, but for now... No. That's not where we can take Gilwin. Not safely. The real quest is to get home. We really, really need to get back. That's got to be the focus. And, and wintertime is... is More dangerous than anticipated initially. There's Conflux. I need to I need to find something that I can look at, at a, as a landmark. Ooh, I think I just saw the lighthouse light off in the distance, way out there. 
That's a dead animal. That's a good sign. It means we've maybe been here. Yeah, there's the light. Wait, unless it's just a horizon artifact, gl like a glitch or just a graphical thing. Though it's impressive that he can take out a, uh, a troglodyte knight without worrying or risking much any longer. I need to keep eating things. Let's bandage real quick, see if we can heal. We'll slowly heal the common cold. Let's go and eat that. Slowly but surely. I know we're still overweight, but we've just got to make this work. The cold being more formidable than conflux is not lost on Gilwin in any way, but definitely frustrating. Just got to let our stamina come back. We just move so slow. I really need to just figure something out here. Padded Helm. Get rid of it. I mean, invalid combination. Alright, fine. We'll drop the Padded Helm. It's three pounds. I don't care. Drop it. We're almost down, and we can start moving things to our pocket. Move to pocket. Uh, move to pocket. Let's keep moving. Alright, we're moving a little faster now. Our backpack's getting a slightly, slightly less weighed down. Honestly, for, for me, all I want to see is a familiar area. Some place that looks like a place I remember seeing in the past. I wish there was a faster way back into Conflux, and I'm not completely convinced that there isn't a faster way back into Conflux Mountains. That we've just kind of missed it. Or didn't talk to enough people about it. But that's our own mistake, and we have to live with it. That's what Outward's all about. But they've given him the next step, at least. To head to Burge, and to talk about rune magics. It seems the things they taught of now is just the first step. The opening of our minds and our spirit, perhaps to allow the magics to course through us, and now, whatever rune magic is, whatever they want to teach us with rune magic, that's the harnessing of it, almost like the control of it. We've got the raw power now, but we need the means and the tools to control it to our own, for our own purposes. Look at that, that's cool looking out in the distance, man. And there's actually a light over here. The sign is lit up, weirdly? Oh, there's a candle. Northwest Sierra. That's where we want to go. Okay. Beautiful. We actually have uh, a goal now. We actually have a direction. We're very cold, and that's okay. Off in the distance, the Sierra Lighthouse is actually a nice beacon of hope. A call from home. We'll be making it there soon enough. And if we follow uh, the road back southeast, we can actually head back to that uh, troglodyte infiltration. And maybe that's where we'll start looking for all the money that we can get. We should travel light, though. I really need to learn to travel light in this game and not to bring too much with me. But uh, in every RPG I play, no matter when in my life I played it, I always had that too good to you syndrome, you know? We're starting to freeze to death out in the wilds. I'm gonna try and stem the, the tide of, of dying. The welcoming walls of Sierzo greet Gilwin. A little bit of a limp in his walk as he's exhausted and dying from free, uh, the cold. He can't help but feel welcome back in a place that once wanted nothing to do with him. But because of him, their city is much safer than they realize. Now, with grand dreams, he hopes he can bring that same kind of safety to the world. Not just his small little town. Uh-oh. 
I might not make it inside. No! I passed out on my porch! I actually, <laughs> Gilwin, taking the steps up to his porch and as the world is starting to go black, passes out unconscious. You can't stand anymore. The very act of breathing is becoming difficult. Pain racks your body as your consciousness fades. The warm smells of Sierra Zoe's Inn greet you. It seems someone found you on the edge of death and nursed you back to health. You have been out cold for days, though at least you're still alive. Days! I've been out for days? People left me out cold for days? Well. What an unfortunate way to go down. Uh, no one left me a note, unfortunately, but... We're in Sierra Whoa! Hello. We're, we must be in Sierra Zoe's Inn, then. It's a bit dark. It's good to be back either way, but... I can't believe Sierra Zoe left me there for days. Perhaps... Perhaps part of the blood debt is... Not caring. Oh, look, you're very busy in. Well, if it isn't Gilwin, come on in. Having the usual. Uh, let's just chat. Life's going to be really quiet here without Izan, Oleil, and Risa. They all ask you to come with them, right? Maybe you should take one of them up on their offer. What do you have to what do you have to lose? Well, um how do I get to the holy mission? First you need to reach the hallowed marsh. Head east, past Conflux Mountains. When you see Chesonet's vigil uh, vigil crystal, make sure you pass north of it. The road to the marsh is along that way. When we reach the hallowed marsh, follow the pilgrim road. It's what we call the trail of luminous sun pillars that leads to monsoon. If you lose the trail somehow, head north. Follow the giant ray of light above Monsoon and you'll get there eventually. Oh, appreciate the directions. Um, I just want to head back, however, to my, my house. I was just on the steps of them. For a moment, anyway. Now we're at the opposite end of town. I like how you're farming in the middle of winter. I, I, I admire your dedication. All those snowflake plants. Delicious. Okay. Home again, home again. Let's do some inventory management. And, uh, make this all work. Alright. Morning is here. Mana has returned. We look a little silly with our helmet on. And our inventory is mostly cleaned up. Um, there is one thing I'd like to do before we leave. And it's to bring this broken sword to, uh, the blacksmith. Oh! The snow is gone, too. Perhaps being passed out for a few days was actually a good thing. Oh, that's great. We can actually make that trip now without concerning ourselves too much. Uh, the weather shouldn't be a problem anymore. I really do want to go into that troglodyte place and see if we can loot pretty much everything they've got and try and make it work for us. Uh, and see if we can get some good stuff, because we just need money. We need a lot of money. And the, sh the shopkeeper doesn't really have much of what I'm looking for. Everything I want is going to be in Sierzo, I think. Uh, not in Sierzo, rather. I think uh, the Conflux Mountains, rather. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just make a bandage while we can. And I might buy a bandage while I'm here. We'll buy a bunch. We'll buy, like, four. I do not have enough silver. Never mind. I have no silver in my inventory. Oh, no. I think they somebody took all my friggin' silver. All right. Well, I want to just I want to give this commander's sword over to Loudhammer if I can. I don't know if that's possible. Mm, maybe not. All right. Let's go put this broken sword away as well, so it doesn't weigh us down. And then we're heading out and taking a trip. Also, our mana is low? We have, like, maximum mana is not as maxed out as I would like it to be. But yeah, we desperately do want to make, uh, that magic work. Alright, first thing I want to do is head to the Montcalm area and see if the power... The, uh, the... not the power, the... Yeah, the, the power conduit, that's what it is, works. It's a very short walk out there, and then what we're going to do is head southeast and try and retrace our steps and see if we can uh, make our way back to the troglodyte infiltration site. We just need money, basically. Lots of it. 
before we do, we'll fill our water and our journey will begin. Oh, I'm so happy to see no snow, man. It almost feels worth it to wait out the weather. When snow arrives, maybe just put any travel plans on, on hold, even if temporarily, just to ensure that we don't have to stress too much about the temperature really weighing us down. I'm hoping we can make at least some headway towards Berg, if possible. It looks like the wargs are out and about now. I'm not sure if they respawn over seasons, but it would make sense if they did. They come out after the winter weather has passed. Maybe selling their scraps, skins, hides, and teeth is an easier way to make a quick buck, but... not something I really care to do. Bird is yelling at me from a distance. Whoa! Ah, mm. I'm bleeding. Oh my god, the blood is gushing. Ugh. Bandage up very quickly. Forgot that there were traps there. Ugh. I wish we could disarm them. Wait, are there... Did they repopulate this area? No way. They repopulated the area? Come on. So is it never, ever down? Like, fully? I can't clear out a base entirely? Oh, really? That's a massive bummer. Okay, one. That's okay. The war dog is scary just because of the amount of armor this thing wears. Okay, got him. Clean kill. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take everything that they have, and the plan is to just sell everything. Salt, looter mask, ammo, and the machete. We can start dropping things if we find better things that are a little heavier for us, but for now, let's wait a moment. Last time we assaulted this place, it was in the winter, so. We were moving a lot slower and it was a lot more dangerous, but if we can Make this work. Just get him. Goodbye. There's no need for us to be using... Two power coils. Oh. Say, there's no need for us to be really be using... Uh, our magics right now. We're much better defended if we can just kind of take them one at a time. I have more practice with this combat, and magic is a, an investment for sure. Come on. One more, it'll be on the ground. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'll take the great iron hammer, we'll sell it. A lot of linen cloth in the scavenger coat. Um, we're just gonna make some bandages out of the linen cloth, basically. Okay. And I'm going to... rip down the scavenger's coat. And make another bandage. We're gonna go ahead and bandage up. Keep moving. The resistance here is not nearly as difficult as it was the first time around, but it might be because our gear is a lot better. We're not walking around overloaded as much. 
and our combat experience in general is just a lot more. Nobody in here. Nothing in here. This is, I think, the prison they kind of throw us in. We'll take the worker hood. I don't need the food. Now, we did get killed up here because there were two. And there still are. Alright, let's try and clear out the rest of the camp first, then. Armor is something I'm definitely going to take every time. Armor and weapons feel like they're going to have the most sell value for us. Well, I don't mind fighting these guys again. They also don't look like they're wearing very good armor. More linen, looter armor, and a giant great sword, and a chest. I'll take it. Dry mushroom barsh. I'll take that. Stealth potion could be neat. Bitter spicy tea and the padded armor, which we can actually use to break down. Okay, we're very overloaded, but we're all right. We're in a position where they can't really do much. More bandages. I'm going to look at the padded armor. I'm going to get rid of the looted or looter armor. Because the padded armor might be better than what we're wearing. Because we're, yeah, we're wearing... Looter armor. Let's throw on the padded armor for sure. We need to get rid of the sand helm too if we ever want to use magic. The mana cost, stamina cost, and movement speed penalties from it are just really, really bad. I am naked. Definitely moving a lot slower Sig by a significant amount, but for now, it's kind of worth it just to get us through this encounter here. Uh, I'm mostly afraid of the magician that was lingering around last time around. I'm actually going to, just for a moment, let's do it over here, so I can see it. I'm going to drop just this, so I have space to fight. Okay, I want you to die, because you have a cool, cool bit of gear, and also I think you're like the boss. Okay, we're gonna move off the stairs because the the mage is, is on us. Gonna bandage. Come up. Oh, that's bad. All right, we're gonna move out. Pop out of the pop out of Montcalm Fort, yeah. That that mage is bad news. But the fact that they're respawned, his gear is worth quite a lot. And if we can finish them off, we can walk out of here feeling a lot better, uh, knowing we're gonna make a lot of money. Let's heal. I'd like to kill the mage first, I think. So if we've got a potion that'll help us fight, yeah. Protects against the cold. Maybe that'll help. We could also drop our shield, carry a torch or a lantern, and just try and burn them. Okay, the mage doesn't actually see us. Actually, nope, he does. No, he does not. Block. Get stamina back if we can. Block. Let's 
Stamina. Stamina. No, block! What? What? I was hold... I was holding block! What happened? I was not only was I holding block, but I had a ton of block left. My block meter was fine. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well. Lucky for us, most of them are dead. We're going to eat. And hopefully heal. We can't see pretty much anything. We're going to stealth our way, I'm hoping, out of here. I just... Where's the door? There it is. Stay down. We know in the tent... In a tent <laughs> is where they tend to keep our gear. Okay, that's our backpack. Okay. Take all. No. Equip that. Okay. We're still thirsty. Hang on. Okay. We need to... Rest, and then we can make a second assault. I think we're gonna we're gonna head back. Let's go ahead and grab this hammer. I think we're gonna head back to Sierzo. We're gonna sell everything we've got, and then we're gonna stash our cash, and then we're gonna return here. The goal, really, uh, the immediate goal for Gilwin at this particular point is to just attain. Start attaining, um, basically, wizard's attire. Things that are going to assist us in casting magics and all this other good stuff. So, ooh, that's beautiful in the sky. A ringed moon. But that's the plan. We just got to make it work. Okay, there's traps on here. Just remember that. Just where? Whoa. A swirling vortex of frost energies, perhaps. Whatever it is, I hope it's not aggressive. Ooh, that's a sh yeah, that might be bad. Let's get out of here. Because we've got the shocker shrimp behind us as well. It's so dark. Really? You want to F with me? Alright, fine. You know what? Let's, let's try it on you, shall we? Let's try our new magics on you. Good. Take a swing. I'd love to... What better way to attempt to use our new magics than on the wildlife of the world? No? Not gonna happen, huh? No interest? Attack me from behind like a coward? <laughs> Gilwin turns to face him, torch out, and ready. Let's go. Uh, it did nothing. Come on. Face me. Just a coward. Nothing more. That is beautiful. This is shards of, of what looks like a, a planet up there or some sort of uh, astral construct. I wonder if we'll learn about the world the more we explore. 
Really? See, I'd do it to you, but I can't I can't risk not moving quickly. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Here's the thing, I'm really hurt. Get out of here. We're running. Another animal. It's just that we're in too much... We're hurt. We're too hurt to really risk this. We have to press. Use all of our stamina. Push ourselves into Sierzo and count ourselves lucky to, to live. I forget how dangerous this, this, dangerous this world can be. Oh. Alive, barely. Let's sell. Okay. Iron Mace. Boom, boom, boom. It's not much, but it's a start. I'm starting to think this giant club might be something we want to get rid of. It's so heavy. I like having a shield, though. It's a, it's a nice crutch. And I know I'm saying crutch, <laughs> but it really is. It's, it kind of gives me that uh, Dark Souls safety of being able to lean on it. But I don't know. Is there anything better that I want to use that would just help me more? I don't know if I want to use a machete, but maybe the rapier. I mean, it does a lot less damage, but... It's kind of cool. All right, let's try it. Maybe carrying this along will be good for us. Uh, let's sleep. And repair a little bit. Okay. Healed up. I'm good to go. With a lot less uh, on our back as well. Um, I'm, I really do would like to try some magic. Um, at least some wildlife, if nothing else. So let's, uh, let's put a torch or a lantern here. For now, I guess a torch works. So we can quickly swap to a torch when we want. And we'll try and use it and push air through it. I like the idea that he just is able to reach up and grab some, you know, just kind of manipulate. That's the word I was looking for, air. But our magic is not refilling properly, and I wonder why. Mana regen doesn't happen when you sleep, maybe? Gadberry wine. Alcoholic drink that makes one unstable on their feet, but reduces the mana cost of spells. I like that the booze is a way to make magic cheaper. Well, the Montcalm tribe is going to have their day again. Maybe there was a patrol, came back, realized everybody's dead, and they reassigned leadership. We'll wipe them out again. I do want to, yep. Okay, I do want to do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah, wow! Oh, that was freaking cool. That was really, really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, that's satisfying. Incredibly satisfying. New weapon in hand, new skills at his fingertips. Let's see if we can finish the Montcalm tribe. Oh, they're still here. Well. Shall we? Oh, I have no magic! I don't have enough durability. On my, uh, I need to put my torch on. Okay. I do want to hit them with fire, though. There we go. Ugh! 
Wait, how are you still fighting after me? <laughs> how are you still fighting me after that? <laughs> now watch him burn. <laughs> okay. That... That is a good time. An incredibly, incredibly good time. Uh, I have to admit. I do like there's a little resource management involved as well. Torches and whatnot run out, oil runs out, and lanterns and so on. And we're running out of mana very quickly. Now it's dipping into our other mana? Or a darker bar, uh, bar of mana? But for now, we'll sell everything we just snagged. And it's good to be back. We have adventures to go on. I reach to the sky and the air itself responds to my call. With a snap of my fingers, heat and sparks fly. The whispers may have all but disappeared, but I can feel its presence within me. The power, the raw, genuine power coursing through me, and it demands direction and control. But I can only do so much. I thought I'd have the answers, but now I'm left with more questions. And a new direction. Beg. Beg is where they said I'd find the rituals to control this energy, this... whatever this is. To feel both empowered and utterly ill-prepared is a strange feeling. But before I go and venture out to Beg, the Montcalm tribe has returned during my stay in Conflux. I do need the practice after all.